Hi, Angela. Okay, I'm starting outside. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Okay, so it's a three-unit townhouse. And this is just a gravel road at dead ends right here. And then on this side, there's an empty lot. A couple little old kind of beachy cabin type houses. And then that right there is 6th Street. That's where I turned off the highway to get here. Um, each one has one of these little parking pads that goes over a little, um, you know, water runoff. Probably in the winter when there's a lot more rain, it's probably more full of water. But looks like they have it pretty squared away with where the water all goes. It's got the one-car garage. Just to kind of show you from the front. All right. Kick my shoes off. I wish you could be with me. Sorry you can't. But this will work in a pinch. Here is the inside of the garage. It's kind of a nice deep garage. It looks like, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I couldn't find the other bedroom. It said three bedroom. Here it is. Here's the third bedroom through the garage. It's actually pretty big. There's the bunk beds. And this is a king size bed, just to give you an idea of the size of this room. It's a big room. Interesting that it's off the garage. I couldn't find it at first. Um, out this sliding glass door is just the back side of this building, but it is a covered dry porch area. So, looks like there's also a bathroom right here. No, this is a storage room. Sorry, I was wrong. Nice to have storage though water heater okay so the main level is one level up I didn't realize till I got here that this is on the east side of the highway so nice big open kitchen got the granite kind of tiles countertops but they're nice tons of counter space the view out this window just looking at that empty lot across the street little pantry right here it's got a pocket sliding door to close if you need to. Big living room, nice sized sectional. Just, it's hard for you to tell quite how big, but this gives you a better idea than the still photos on the listing anyway. Wood burning fireplace, more cabinets and storage. So here's the deck, ocean. View, but like I said, it's on the east side of the highway. So that right there is the highway. And it's kind of noisy, but I mean, you do have this is just the second floor. We still have a whole other floor. You are kind of looking at this rooftop on this level, but I mean, that's all ocean. You can see the ocean for sure from this level. There's the decks of the unit on that side and the one on this side. But you know, it's got a little four seater table. It's a good size deck and this is that Trex deck. So it's that good decking, that composite instead of wood that lasts forever. So that's nice. Here is a little half bath off the kitchen, which is kind of nice that you don't have to run upstairs to use the restroom. That's also got the same 
vacant lot view. Hi. <laughs> okay, now up here is the master and the other bedroom. Nice French door, double door entrance into the master, so it's kind of nice how open it feels. That's a king size bed. So you can kind of get the idea of the size of the room. And this has the way better view. Let's open this up. So, like I said, the highway is kind of intrusive, but I mean, really, at nighttime, you know, the highway dies down at nighttime. And it's really only bad in the summer. out there off the horizon. Killer view from the bedroom though. And there's this little alcove where they have a dresser and an armoire. So I don't know, you could probably put a little office in that space or something. Master bath has a walk-in shower and a big jetted tub. It's got a couple jets, but it's a nice big tub. And there's the two sinks. This has a tile countertop. It's nice. Everything's in a nice condition. And a walk-in closet. More bars back here to hang stuff. Big closets here. Yeah, there's plenty of storage, which is really nice. This is the washer dryer. Let's see, yes, there is a light. So that's got storage up there too. Here's the next bedroom, which this one is a queen. Still a really good size room though. This has that same view of the entrance side where the lot is and it's nice that it's on a dead end road. Also has a good size closet. So you can see, so this one has a little shelf built in there too. Other bathroom, just one sink in this one, and a walk in shower in this one. So, I think that's all of it. I do, we'll talk about it. Um, as far as if you can see that little creek inlet. Um, and that is also part of why there is, I'll show you down here too, they have the parking the way they do. There's also water right there. Like I said, it does look like they have it pretty taken care of. As far as having the water guided where it needs to go, but I do know from experience living around here that during big tides and that kind of thing, a lot of water can come up in here, not in the building, but you know, in Rockaway in general. So we'll talk about that if you are interested in moving forward. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you the basics and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.